What's up gang, welcome back for another episode of It's Always Sunny. Hard to believe we're already almost halfway through another season. Feels like we just barely finished off season 10, but we are flying through these. And I just realized now, looking at the dates and the way the schedule's going, that during October we will be on season 13 of It's Always Sunny, which could not have worked out more perfectly. And obviously that has nothing to do with this video, but I just thought I'd mention it because I thought it was pretty cool. Going to be extra festive for that season but hopefully you all enjoy watching along with me for this episode if you do definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the video out a lot and of course you can check out the full length reaction on my patreon link for that in the description below but without further ado let's go ahead and hop into episode five d do you want to take your feet off my bed please it's not your bed it's my goddamn floor You're turning this place into superdome that's like six years too late that's a super lame reference <laughs> Nice pun with the super again, but I love that they're still living here after all this time. You guys have destroyed everything, and that's why it looks junky. You're like a couple of locusts. I take that as a compliment. It's not a compliment. Well, it's biblical, so it's a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, Mac with his Bible stuff. I love the layout though, seeing the hammock in the back. You think this is easy? Where are you guys gonna find a place that fits all of your needs for under 1500 bucks a month? Oh man, that's a freaking brilliant title card. I love that that was basically a punchline. We haven't gotten one quite in that manner in a while, I feel like, where it's just like them answering the question. That was so well done. Can't wait for this though, if they actually do move there. Well guys, this is it. This is crazy. You guys should've just moved into that empty apartment in our building. The one where the family was murdered? Brutally murdered. <laughs> Sounds like a oasis, man. This is so against their typical style. If Mac and I can live here for a month, then you have to pay our rent for an entire year. And if you don't, you have to sleep in bed with an old man for a year. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's laughing when he literally does that himself. I love that Mac's wearing a Robin Hood t-shirt right now, though. Fits right in with the suburbs. When was the last time that we had a home-cooked meal. It's been forever. Well, my friend, dig in. Oh my God, Mac, this is incredible. <laughs> oh man, Mac's been hiding his skills. Where's this been? Mac's famous mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know how famous it is. I mean, I'm your roommate and I've never heard of it. What do you want to do after dinner? TV's not hooked up, so can't watch TV. <laughs> oh man, they're just a few minutes in and already running out of things to do. Yeah, yeah. What was that? You hear that, that chirping sound? <laughs> Oh my. I do not. To a great night's sleep. <laughs> this isn't going super well so far. I love the smoke detector thing though. Everybody goes through that. Did you hear that? Pool filter? It's so much louder than all the city noises combined. Hey, you must be the new neighbors. Name's Wally Schmidt. No relation to Mike. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I love that this is their first interaction. They're gonna be the most hated neighbors. Nice to meet you boys. What the hell was that all about? Just comes up and starts talking to us? Right, some guy comes up to me. I don't know what he's up to. No, it's like the whole time I'm staring at him. I'm thinking, does he have a knife? <laughs> He's always in defense mode. It's fantastic. Their people skills are terrible. I got the commute to relax. Merge, merge! You gotta seize the goddamn gap! Oh, God damn it! I don't care if you're old! Seize the gap! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love seeing him raging in a car. Surprised he's not eating cereal on the way, though. I was working at any good stories. Charlie and Frank are doing something with Russian hats now. Uh, what'd you do today? Mostly I just tried to get the living room set up. Fantastic camera work, dude. That was quite the reveal. Already ruined the home. You know what? Maybe I will take another run at that pool filter. Maybe try to do all the other things that you tried to do today, but, uh, you know, do them. <laughs> I love this, man. They're getting on each other's nerves. They're really diving into the suburb roles. <laughs> Keeping track of the days. What's your plan, huh? Oh my gosh, dude, this is his neighbor. Can't be doing that to him. Hey, 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 slow down! Children play here, you fat cow! <laughs> this dialogue, Dennis is at his peak right here. Hot one today, huh? Yeah! <laughs> Man, they've made it eight days. There's no way that they're winning the bet with Frank. Tell me about future weather. Don't tell me about present weather. Hey, Dennis, this is Jimmy. He's the pool guy. Matt, can I speak to you in the foyer for a second? Sure. 
<laughs> Whoa, man, didn't see it in the other shop, but I love his robe. Got maximum comfort. I'm gonna bite some guy over to my house that I don't even know. His name is Jimmy. I ask him about all sorts of things. What do you want me to ask pool guy? If he knew that I was interested in, he wouldn't be a pool guy. <laughs> This is so incredible. They're like a freaking married couple even more than usual. I didn't realize that we had an indoor pool. Can we just forget about it? We got enough money for two pools. And yet we don't have enough money for a recipe book. Because here we are eating mac and cheese again. <laughs> Dude, this is so good. I love their performances. You get to go to work. Hey, I get to go to work. I get to have a job. You know what? Screw this. Fine, just walk away right in the middle. Dennis! <laughs> His voice right there, oh my. This is like the time when it was just them eating at Gugino's, but even better, because they're actually together 24 seven almost. I hate this place. I gotta get back to the city. I miss the city too, I miss the action. I thought this place would soften my edges, but they're sharper than ever. I think I have an idea. Let's invite the gang over. <laughs> Oh, no way that goes well. That's gonna be a disaster. Two of the gang members here has been bad enough. Mac and Dennis, old man, old man, Mac and Dennis. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Frank is ready to win this bet. I love it. Their hats are great too. What would the logistics be like with the old man thing? If you guys are cracking, you can forfeit now. I'll buy the three of you a California king. They're not going to forfeit. This place is rad. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually on board, and I also love the subtle detail of all the holes being filled with random items in the back. If they win, I'll take that California King bed. If they lose, the three, you gotta sleep with the old man. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Excuse me, I have to piss. <laughs> That was the most awkward excusal I've seen. I also love that Charlie thinks it's so funny every time Frank says sleep with an old man. Clearly, Mac wants to speak to me in secret. What? Oh good, you got my signal. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Dude, it's cool, man. We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> What a room, bro. I saw the air fresheners and wondered what they were there for, but I did not expect this. Picture big bed, me on the side, you know, you right here, old man, right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Black man should be in the middle. Don't call him black man. His name's not black man. His name's old man. Just sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> that they're talking about the logistics. They really are giving up. I would have loved to see them last the month. <gasps> Oh my god. You guys are cracking, aren't you? It's soul crushing, Dean! Oh my god, I can't make this house into a home. I didn't go to school for that. He didn't go to school for it! No. <laughs> I don't think anybody goes to school for that. What an amazing line. Now we gotta figure out where D goes in the bed. Oh, whoa, right, whoa, whoa, whoa. The How are we even having this conversation? All you gotta do to win is just exist! <laughs> it's not that simple, man. No way they can do it. I can't wait to see how this plays out. I made you that. Max honey do list. Yep, that is a list of chores <laughs> to give you a sense of purpose so you don't feel so cooped up and lonely. How's a list of chores gonna make me feel less lonely? <laughs> So incredible, man, covering all the marriage classics. What are you doing? Why, what, what, are you okay? Look behind you, asshole. Oh. <gasps> you got me a dog? Yeah. God, he's so cute. <laughs> I agree, man. That is a cute dog. Dennis has done the ultimate trick to win him over. Why don't we agree right now to make these next few weeks the best of our lives? I'm with you. I'm gonna raise this guy like he was our own son. <laughs> <Yeah>. Weird. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, the music, I freaking love it. Are we gonna get a montage? I'm definitely excited for that. We'll I'll wait for you to send your text, you fat pig! How you doing, neighbor? <laughs> oh, what an amazing shot, dude. This is so good, I love the filmmaking. Oh my, dude, Dennis is losing it. Just disrespecting the mac and cheese. Boy, it sure is a hot one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is so incredible, man. I hate the Bulldog Summers! <laughs> what a cut. Dude, what? The dog didn't even survive. Probably been staying inside to avoid this uh, heat wave, huh? It's hot, huh? It's getting real hot around here. <laughs> oh no, Dennis is gonna kill this man. I'm afraid for his life. You ever been in a storm, Wally? Storm of fists, pummeling you in the stomach. You ever been in a storm like that, Wally? <laughs> My gosh, dude, what was that? You okay, dude? Yeah. Who are you talking to? Oh my, 
What a reveal, dude. I've never seen him lose it to that level. That was incredible. Anything exciting happen at work today? <laughs> well, I called up there. They said you weren't even there. Can we not talk about my day? Perhaps we can talk about my day. This is turning into like a horror episode, dude. What the heck? I did not expect it to take this turn. Everything you do, you do for yourself. Sleeping in your car, eating at Applebee's. You've been spying on me? You didn't even notice that I switched up the mac and cheese. <laughs> oh my, what a scene, dude, this dialogue. You put meat hunks in it. Wow, hunks of meat. Dennis would like Dennis. What? It's Dennis. You're eating the dog. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, they both have reached a new level of insanity, dude. That's so gross. What is wrong with you? I don't know. I guess it was just a cry for attention. I can't live with you anymore in this goddamn place. I'm out of here. I'm going to go stay in a hotel. <laughs> All the air fresheners, man. There's even more than before. I just noticed. Tell me about Mac's famous mac and cheese. Okay, I can explain. I called it my famous mac and cheese as, as a joke. <laughs> Dude, I love this episode. This is so good. So many twists. Oh, well, that must be nosy, Wally. <laughs> His delivery, man. I could take an entire season of this. This is amazing. There's that chirping again. How are you not hearing that? I've been hearing it the entire goddamn time. Then why wouldn't you say something? Because I hate you. <laughs> My, this has got to be Glenn Howerton's best performance. Did it! Who did what? Let's We're almost the there. We're, We're going to do it. We're going to win the bet. We're going to win the bet. Yeah. Paid in full. Did it. <laughs> we did it. It's almost like a loss, dude. That means they have to stay here for another year. Two, one. Hey, guys. <laughs> what a brilliant guy. Dude, they had to give up while they still had time. Lay your ass down. Sorry, black man. Oh my. Old man. Old man. Sorry, old black man. God damn it. Dude, what an episode. <laughs> so good man i could easily watch that again immediately i really wish they had taken the money and stayed there just for the sake of more content at that house it started off kind of harmless they were still kind of getting a little crazy going at each other but those last few minutes were just on a whole nother level you would think at some point they have to eventually stop making some of their best episodes and just never quite reach the peaks that they would already had before but this episode proves that they still got it as much as ever one of my favorite episodes that they've done for the whole show easily that was so good just getting to watch dennis and max slowly slip into insanity and seeing Dennis reach levels that I didn't even think he could get to. We'd already seen plenty of displays of his psychotic nature, but him disrobing in his mind, obviously after the reveal, but yelling at Wally was just a brilliant performance. And Mac feeding him the dog was so dark as well. So many great parts of this episode. And I love all the subtle aspects as well, whether it was some of the stuff that I mentioned, like them covering the holes in the water Hall during the dinner or even noticing all the other air fresheners in the hall and throughout the house I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff that I didn't even pick up on because it felt like they fit so much stuff into that episode just to make it such a great experience but loved it so much definitely my favorite of this season in particular so far but as I said one of my favorites for the whole show hopefully you all enjoyed watching along with me for this one excited to get into the next one and until then I'll see you all later Peace.